I had a couple different looks at times. Uh, so this was the uh, kind of mid to late 80s. So there may or may not have been a mullet and a rat tail. Maybe some parachute pants. Uh, but for the most part, I would say I was in uh, sort of a jean jacket and jeans or a t-shirt, uh, something pretty uh, laid back and maybe more conventional. My uh, one uh, dog, his name is Lambo. Uh, as you can imagine why we might have named him Lambo, because we were so proud to be uh, Packer fans. When I uh, uh, first got the dog, I lived in Pennsylvania at the time, and everybody that I told his name to thought that his name was Rambo after the Sylvester Stallone movie, and I'd say, no, 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 it's, it's Lambo after Lambo Field. Now that I've moved back to Wisconsin, my biggest fear is that when I call for his name to come and say, hey, Lambo, come over here, that there'll be like 10 or 20 dogs running at me. When I was in uh, college, I was at the University of uh, Pennsylvania. But I do remember uh, that our uh, football team, when I was there, actually was quite good. And we went 30-0. Uh, and, and at the end of that undefeated season every year, we would rush the goalposts and tear them down. And the fans would carry the goalposts to the Schuylkill River and throw the goalposts in the river. It was very expensive for the city to fish them out. And so by the third year in a row that we won the title, they had put a huge force of police surrounding the goalposts that were rapidly overwhelmed <laughs> by the exciting fans. Uh, and so the, those goalposts ended up again going into the river. 